Hello everyone and welcome back to another video covering the AQA GCSE Computer Science course. Um, we're moving on to topic number 7 uh, which is systems or more uh, specifically uh, computer systems. Um, so let's define this. Um, fortunately um, this is fairly airtight, a fairly airtight uh, def definition unlike most uh, terms in computer science. But um, so, so a computer system is hardware and software working together to create a working solution. And this has been taken straight from a specification, this uh, definition, so uh, make sure you learn it because it may well come up. Um, let's have a look at systems in our modern world. So obviously they're very important and uh, this slide is, is more looking at maybe a four or five mark question that could potentially come up where you'd have to come up with your own ideas and explain them. Here are just a few ideas of why they are so important to us. So they allow people to contact and work with those all around the world. Um, this could be a, a, like a, a, a small level like um, family members contacting each other or it could be global businesses um, meeting each other via Skype or via uh, web chats around the world which obviously saves a lot of money, transport costs and it, it connects the world in a, in a very different way. Um, also computer systems allow people to access their data securely from anywhere. Um, you don't have to just go to your bank to get your money, you can get your, you can um, use use your credit card anywhere that sort of comes under this. Um, and it should be sec secure, I, I heard about eBay recently, um, somehow some of the data of their customers got leaked but it should be secure and that's a very um, important advantage to computer systems. So they also can improve quality of life, so recently especially those without limbs, such as in this, this man here who's obviously lost a leg somehow, um, you can have them replaced by bionics, controlled by computer systems, um, very complex, these are sort of new technology that I'm sure we'll see in years to come, and it, it um, very much improves the quality of life of those who are injured. Um, also it can actually save lives, so I believe this picture is actually from like a, uh, a 999 ambulance response center. So um, using computer systems, it allows them to contact their teams quicker and um, a lot easier as well, so they can coordinate responses to um, people in need. And obviously this list isn't exclusive, it's just four ideas you can maybe talk about, but there could be hundreds, you know. It's, uh, this only took me five minutes to think of, and you know, there's, there's loads of options to talk about. Um, we're also going to need to look at re reliability and robustness in computer systems. So, um, reliability can be in a funny order there. Reliability is when a computer system can be depended on to work almost all of the time. Fairly standard, it's quite difficult to define reliability, but we all know what it means, um, not only in just general English, but in um, a computer sense. You want to be able to go and turn your computer on and make it and have it work first time. And um, as technology advances, reliability becomes more and well, systems become more and more reliable. So, robustness you may not know of. Um, basically, robustness is a computer system's ability to cope with execution errors or abnormalities. So, for example, if your if your program if a program on your system requires you to input something and you input something weird or you input a number instead of a letter. Um, if, it, if it's robust, then it will be able to deal with it and not crash. But if it's not robust, it you know may crash or freeze or something. And this happens quite a lot actually. But um, on the general on the general scheme of things, uh, systems are very robust. Um, so you've got to also got to understand why they are both important to a system. Basically, I mean again, this is this is fairly easy to sort of to understand. But they both contribute to the user being able, being able to depend on them at all times without any chance of failure. Obviously, I mean, it's not strictly true, there's always a small chance of a, a failure in a system, but it's, it's minimal if they are um, highly re reliable and robust. Um, and this means that um, data, personal details, um, you know, your your um, movie collection aren't lost um, often, which is very important. So that's pretty much it for today's video. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and um, I'll see you for the next one. Bye.